Sandino. It's the last day of campaigning for former FARC commander Victoria Sandino, and it's a symbolic one. She's back in her hometown, Tierra Alta, in northern Colombia, the town she left 31 years ago to become a guerrilla fighter. You have resisted, you have had the ability and the courage to endure the systematic violence that has been waged against our people. The new FARC party has been running on a platform of political and social welfare reform, but it has had a hard time attracting people outside of its traditional base. All attendants here are poor farmers, mostly coca growers, hoping peace will bring about change. The hope is that this party will help us move forward and that one day we can experience the peace we've been denied for so long by the war. We can reach it this time. But the FARC campaign has largely attracted a different kind of attention. Last month, it suspended campaigning after Rodrigo Londoño, its top commander running for president, was pelted with rocks. He later ended his run because of health reasons. Two ex-fighters campaigning for a candidate have been killed and most suffered attacks or threats on social media. Sandino says Colombia's private institutions systematically hampered their efforts. We've been trying, but it has been very hard. The goal was to reach as many people as possible, but we weren't able to finance the campaign. Banks would not open us accounts. We couldn't reach out on radio and TV like the other parties. We suffered considerable stigmatization and mudslinging. As one of the FARC's top candidates, Sandino will likely fill one of ten congressional seats that the peace deal set aside for the new FARC's party, regardless of their showing. But it will be difficult for them to legitimize those seats if they don't get enough votes. There's a tremendous degree of um, uh, uh, negative feelings towards this group um, that they have not um, adequately processed and taken measures to address. FARC's transition into a legal electoral force was never going to be simple, but these tentative steps are already an historic achievement in a country still struggling to find a way to turn the page on its long and bloody conflict. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Tierra Alta.